Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build hanging roof pillars. I would say this is advanced custom building, and it is very tedious. It will take you a while, because it's about precision. It wasn't too fun to build this. But it is cheap, and once you get the hang of it, you'll have it done in about 5 minutes. Now first off, I've just built a platform. I'm going to build two stories on one side, and three stories on the other side to show you can be done on both. Now I found if you built the roof first, you had problems because you will be doing some cutting using the hole cutter. Now essentially what I did is found the center of what I thought was the room and built two logs across. Though there is a better way to do it, but this will give it a different look. Once that's done, complete it and then get a custom wall out and try and get it as accurate as possible. It was difficult for me to do it because I couldn't see, so I built a custom stairs then went up and tried again. Because it was two planks wide, it kept wanting to attach to the edge. Though I found a fix for this in the next one. Once that's done, you get the whole cutter out and trim away the custom floor. Make sure you save before you do this as it is very risky. Try and get it as close to the walls as you can to cut off the pieces. Now I've cut some time off here because it did take me a long time. And there you go, it's floating in the air. Then what I did, I put the roof on it, using custom roofs of course. If it was automatic it would have went across the whole structure. And I made it about a log pillar tall. And this is the tricky part, trying to get it to align on the other pillar. You can't use automatic, otherwise it will turn into five logs. But if you want that, you can do it. And I cleared the custom stairs as I was no longer needing it. And there you go. Then you could put a bone chandelier on it, though I think this could have some other methods. It was really difficult trying to get it as accurate as possible. I tried to clear off the little bits on the edges, but it was too low to the ground. But the third story one I had a lot more luck with. Now I only built three points on this one, so it ended up being a lot easier and even cheaper. Just like that. And it's only a single log across. So it's like two logs. It's very cheap. Then what I did is I got the custom wall out again. As you see there, it was on an angle. That was roughly the center, so I completed that one. Then I used the hole cutter once again to trim the fat. Because this is much higher, I can aim the hole cutter underneath and it won't trim the bottom floor. On two stories, this will most likely happen. You'll end up trimming the floor, and you don't want that. The problem is if you build the roof first, you'll find that the whole cutter will want to trim the roof. It's a pain in the ass, I'm telling you, it really is. Then once again, try and get it as accurate as possible. Take your time with this. You'll probably have trouble trying to get it aligned if you make a mistake and already build it, because you might not be able to clear it without hitting it, of course. Another idea of what you could do with this is use a custom floor to build something else up here. I haven't thought of any ideas yet. If you've got any, let me know in the comments. But yes, you can put another bone chandelier on this, or whatever you want. Anything that hangs will work well. I was terrible at placing them. They're on a massive angle, but I think it worked out pretty well. The pillar does come through the roof, but that's no issue. Looks like a little bit of a chimney. But yeah, if you have any suggestions for how this design could be used, post it in the comments. I think this one has a lot of potential. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.